over the past couple days, I got a lot of questions. People are hitting me up on Twitter asking me like, so what's going on with KI and what's my job on the new KI and all this stuff? And I'm just like, there was a Xbox podcast that was recently talking about it. Um, that was essentially going over a bunch of rumors and rumor mill stuff that it, that happens and stuff of the like where they go over Xbox Live backwards compatible games and big things happening and stuff like that. So one of the main dudes that is running this podcast uh, essentially heard a long time ago, like I'd say he was saying it was like a close to a year ago. And about that year ago time frame, he was getting some messages from insiders somewhere at Microsoft saying that Killer Instinct was actually not dead. Flash forward, <clears throat> I'd say about six months and Phil Spencer is being interviewed uh, from Drop Frames, the podcast we were on just last week. So Phil's on a podcast um, being interviewed by like JP and co about E3. And apparently all of the chat was freaking out about Killer Instinct, right? Like everybody was doing hashtag bring back KI and all this crazy support stuff, right? Um, which is cool. And uh, apparently they actually asked Phil off script because the entire chat was freaking out about it. And uh, Phil had a pretty like unscripted response that like, you know what? We, we honestly have not had an opportunity to talk much about KI, but they have not forgotten about it. To summarize what he said, he said it was something that they want to get right, that they have to find like, the right time, the right studio, um, the right developer to sort of push this thing forward. As we've talked about this before, we've already known for a long time that uh, Killer Instinct in the hands of a studio like Iron Galaxy is definitely the most desirable result, right? That's what everyone kind of wants to happen. They wanted to go back to IG, give them some more budget, let them go crazy. They know how to do netcode. They know how to do fun characters. Let's just get more of what they do well. However, Iron Galaxy has been doing their own thing for quite some time now, ever since they've been done with KI back in 2017. It's been a big question of what is Iron Galaxy like working on? We still don't know what they are working on uh, in the background. And uh, it's not Killer Instinct. That's actually been confirmed by them several times. Leads us to today where uh, some rumors have been popping up. And this is making the rounds, not just like on event hubs, this is essentially everywhere. Like every big website is essentially reporting on this, that a new Killer Instinct entry is reportedly in the works already. Like development has already begun on potentially a new KI. To boil it down, what was actually presented in uh, this rumor. So he's been told that yes, KI is an active development. It's not just coming back, it's in development at the moment. He states first hearing rumblings about KI not being dead last year, but didn't want to say anything at the time because he needed more direct confirmation before putting a name out there in the public space. But as for anyone developing the alleged fighting game, he does not know who the developer is and is trying to find out uh, that information still. He has no idea who the hell is making it and where the hell it's being made. Um, however, he has a pretty big hunch that it's not Iron Galaxy and it's not other popular uh, American fighting game developers, for example, like NetherRealm Studios. He goes on to say, for anyone that's asking me, I don't know the studio, I haven't been told. I'm legitimately trying to find out the studio because I'm pretty sure it's not Iron Galaxy. It's about finding the right team. This is what Phil said. It's about finding the right team and the right opportunity, but it's not due to any kind of lack of desire on our part. We're not doing more with, uh, about us not doing more with KI because we love the franchise and the community's response. So it's pretty clear that hashtag bring back KI and how much people love these games and stuff like that definitely made a difference. Here's the thing, finding the right team and the right opportunity. We made a whole video talking about this before that Killer Instinct essentially set itself up for an insanely difficult challenge moving forward, right? You take Killer Instinct forward into the future after what the previous game was made on an insanely tight budget and made to the degree at which it was, where it got so many things right about fighting games, where it was able to like try out the season model of fighting games before everything else did in ways that were way more accessible because it was cheap. You could technically play the game for free. Not many other fighting games have really done that yet still. Here's the crazy response from people where I have to like remind everyone the reality of the situation. What about Rare? Killer Instinct 1 and 2 were made by very small development teams. Very tiny. Bunch of dudes in their early 20s and the 90s put those games together. Current climate of Rareware doesn't have anybody that designed the original Killer Instinct still working there. In fact, there is only one individual left that still works at Rare Studios 
that worked on the original KI. And it's the dude that did the music. Just Robin Beanland, right? So it's just Robin and he's working on Sea of Thieves and stuff like that. There was definitely a unique opportunity where it's like, well, Double Helix has never made a fighting game. How are they gonna do it type of stuff? Well, in all honesty, Double Helix in 2013, shockingly was the epicenter of a whole bunch of American combat designers somehow, which is why they got the job, right? They were able to prototype KI so ridiculously fast it was nuts. Why? Because a lot of the people that were there knew how to put a fighting game together. They had a ton of experience with this kind of stuff, not just through fighting game experience, through like the industry. So it wasn't just like a small congregation. No, they had a lot of, they seemingly had a whole bunch of American combat talent in the same place. And then lo and behold, they pitch the game that they have an idea for and Microsoft's impressed and they get the job. Most of that talent has been split up, right? So Double Helix got absorbed into Amazon, yada, yada, yada. It's a very, very different company now with some people still working on games like New World, which is great because, you know, it's, it's great to see those guys are still doing the thing that they've been doing for the, like, the past seven years. So who can do this, right? Who the heck is gonna be working on a KI? Especially if there's a situation where there might be one in development right now. And this is where we have, in my opinion, a cause for concern. This is definitely like a, uh-oh. The amount of devs in the US are essentially boiling down currently to Iron Galaxy, NetherRealm Studios, potentially the guys that make Power Rangers, I guess. The problem is, is that if you were to take um, a team the size of the Power Rangers team, right? Like the guys that make Battle for the Grid, they're respectively pretty small. You need to be ready and willing to expand and risk everything for expansion. Because if Microsoft shows up and they want you to make like even a double A Microsoft fighting game, that is insanely risky. I want to tell you why that's insanely, insanely risky for the devs of like, if it was if it was the Power Rangers crew. If you went to them and they're like, hey, we want you to make a, a KI, they're simply gonna be like, we don't have the resources to do that. We do not have the the amount of talent. The, we don't not, we just need more, or we need way more people to pull off a project of that scope, probably within whatever time frame they got. It's a huge risk for them because if the project doesn't go well, doesn't hit the numbers that they need to hit, then what happens? Oh, well, they've now severely expanded their workload and now they have no project to use those employees on. You can't just like pay people from nothing. So that's risky, right? You need like, you literally need established developers with enough resources to get shit done. I think they would make a really damn fun KI. I, I actually very much trust them to do it. But in terms of like potentially the visual scope of what Microsoft might have for this project and knowing that they might put a bit more budget into it, they might be willing to turn it into something more than just an Xbox Live Arcade game. You know, maybe that's a, maybe that's a chance. Here's my worry. Here's the thing I've been telling you guys that I'm worried about this whole goddamn time. I have been worried about Microsoft doing the thing that I hope they don't do. They essentially reach out to a developer that's really prominent with visuals. They reach out to someone that they know is going to make that shit look really good, which is absolutely a possibility. To boil this back, I don't know who's making the new KI. Like, I don't know who could make it, which is why I'm concerned. I don't know where they could be reaching out for this stuff. Here's the crazy thing. The leak mentioned dimps, but I don't know if Nick knew that a fairly large portion of Dimps, who's in Japan, a fairly large portion of their capital is owned by Sony. Not all of it, but a pretty good chunk of it. So probably not Dimps. Pretty good chance it won't be them. Aiding has not put together a fighting game since like, from what I understand, Ultimate Marvel 3. They currently have one in development that's not out yet by the title of uh, Dungeon Fighter Duel, but that's not even a game yet. Like that was one sort of conceptual trailer and we have no idea what the hell that game's really going to be or how it's going to look. If they're also working on that, there's a chance they, they've been, they've been mostly doing mobile games for a long time too. And so if they're doing their usual thing and they're also making a fighting game, it's hard to see that them also doing something like that. And then you just have to start like thinking about who the hell can even make fighting games. But then the other big question is, do they, do they reach out to Japanese developers? Do they go outside of the US? Or do they try to make their own team? Do they actually try to put together uh, essentially a crack team of people that they have been gathering potentially for a while, which might have been the reason why Killer Instinct took such a big hiatus? Maybe. We don't, we don't have any information on who's making it, so there's no conclusions that can really be dropped here. But 
it's also the fact that it might not be true at all. Because a lot of the things in this situation are just like, who the hell could make it? But here's the thing, talking about what KI could be. Because if suddenly the game is put into the hands of a new developer, there's a good chance that they're just going to do their own thing, right? Start over, potentially do their own thing. Which is why I would be genuinely upset with that, because the foundation and framework of KI 2013 to 2017 had four years of refinement that had gone through it. And the gameplay of that game is very good. I'm not saying we want a game by the exact same visual standard. I'm not saying we want to see the exact same game again, if there is going to be a KI in the future. But there's a lot of gameplay fundamental stuff that exists in Killer Instinct that really should not be going anywhere. And that's my biggest concern about like, well, if the original devs of KI aren't making it and their big thing was gameplay, then what the heck is happening here? And that's where I'm, I've got a lot of concern because to me, you need to keep a lot of the systems in the feel of Killer Instinct. Like a lot of that stuff needs to stay because that's what made this game so beloved was the two-way interaction element of it, you know? I don't think you start over Killer Instinct either, right? Like I don't think you make a whole new KI and then just start from scratch and be like, hey, here's a six character, here's a six to eight character at the roster again at the start, we're starting over. Also a big no-no, like, I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement, obviously, on potential character models and visuals and stuff like that, that could definitely make the previous elements of KI look better. But at the same time, I think that's risky. I think that's risky for a lot of these studios to potentially take something on and just disregard all of what existed before in a situation like KI that had a really big roster in gameplay that people loved. Right? Please don't simplify the game. Dude, Killer Instinct was simplified so much. Killer Instinct had, wh what was the, they put combo assist into the game, dude. You could do 50% damage combos in Killer Instinct with just pressing face buttons if you wanted to. Combo assist mode was great because the combos aren't the thing that gets you crazy damage in KI, it's your decisions. It's never been about you uh, are able to do a 50% damage combo or something like that, or a 100% damage combo or whatever. No, it's never been about that shit. And that's what's great about KI. That's what's really great about KI. So I don't know how you casualize KI very much beyond that, <laughs> you know? Because combo assist was an option. You can turn it on or off. So to me, it seems weird if there would be a new KI to essentially disregard a lot of what was already done from the previous game that made so many people happy. It seems weird to like reset the characters and just make completely new versions of like Jago and Orchid and Glacius and just have them play completely different than the previous Killer Instinct. I think that's very odd because so much of this stuff worked as good as it did. If you're essentially throwing that into the hands of a brand new developer, which is most likely if this rumor has any validity at all, it would be very challenging, right? Fighting games are not easy to make. It's gonna be tough. That's why I think a lot of the design elements that exist from Killer Instinct before are really good. But that's about the extent of what the rumor is. The rumor is that just another KI is in development somewhere. We don't know where. However, the only thing that this person does assume about the rumor is that it's not NRS and it's not Iron Galaxy. That's about it. So that leaves very few options from this point going forward. I would like to say I'm excited, but I would say this rumor in turn makes me more inherently cautious about anything. It makes me more inherently like concerned because of gameplay reasons. I'm not even gonna say I'm optimistic. I'm not. I'm kind of cautious because let's say a new Killer Instinct comes out. Game's fun. Looks good too. It's got a it's got a, a decent amount of characters, but the netcode sucks. That seems weird because the previous Killer Instinct was like a defining standard in online fighting games. That seems like a big deal. Even if they like try to do rollback netcode and it doesn't work out very well. What if a new Killer Instinct comes out and they don't have Mick Gordon? Like a lot of these things, people are, would be inherently if you say K new KI, but know this, know that, know that. All the stuff that the previous Killer Instinct did practically just from the blood, sweat, and tears of people that just wanted to make the game good. And why do we know that? Because there's been literal interviews about it. Who would do the netcode? Who would handle the gameplay? How are the visuals gonna look? And this is the inherent challenge of a fighting game that's set up for so many standards. The previous version of KI was made by a ton of fighting game talent. So that shit is going to be a very big uphill battle, is all I'm gonna try to say. That or unless they have a completely different vision for it, because you have to understand Killer Instinct was an Xbox 360 game with no budget that eventually went to the moon.